Good morning, everyone. Let's see what Craig's up to this morning. Good morning, Craig. Good morning, Mom. Can you tell everyone what we're doing today? We got to take the cans to Walmart, eat lunch at Mexican, and go to YMCA. You pause that. <laughs> what are you watching there? Just horror cooking stuff. Horror cooking? Yeah. Hmm. Sounds interesting. What are they cooking? I don't know. Oh, it's just the horror part, huh? Yeah. And I need to drop some stuff off at the thrift store. And I also, we need to go to the post office, I think. Right. All right. We'll see you later. Here we go. Purple, orange, at red, and big jump, big jump. Oh. Oh, yeah. First of all, look at all the Muppets. Yeah. I'm doing a great job. Look, look at the cookies. We liked Fiesta Jalapeno so much, we decided to have it again today. Oh. Oh, there we go. So festive and beautiful in here. There's a view from the other end. Craig's going to the bathroom. Last time, I didn't show you the whole margarita list. I really have to come back here and get a margarita. A pear margarita? That sounds amazing. Actually, they all do. I think this is what I'm getting today, the El Chavo. It sounds really, really good. Did you get the drinks? I did. I ordered you a Diet Pepsi. I just found this on the table. There's a whole nother page of margaritas. Look at all of those. And they have mojitos and mules. My goodness, these all sound really good. Here's what my wish. I think it was called La Chavo, looks like. You can see the pineapple and the chicken. And the chorizo. And it comes with an avocado on top. It looks really good. I didn't know it came with a tortilla. And then, of course, here's Craig's chicken strips and fries. How did they taste, Craig? Delicious. As always. This is absolutely delicious. The, the pineapple paired with the chorizo and the chicken. And there's a little bit of cheese. That's so good. I ate one bite with the avocado, which was also good. I should mention, it also comes with the rice and like a little lettuce salad with cheese. I won't be eating the rice, probably not anything on this plate, but it does come with that if you're interested. As usual, the chips and salsa, which I should not be eating the chips, but the chips are absolutely delicious. The Fiesta Jalapeno is the best place to be. The chicken strips and fries are delicious. The weight here is nice. I give it two thumbs up by SARS and the Greggy Favreau Save Approval. I give it two thumbs up also. It was delicious. Five stars plus. Service was excellent and the food was phenomenal. We had some donations to drop off, so we're going to check out Goodwill. Let's see what they have today. Maybe we'll find some treasures. Craig found the DVDs and the videos. The Mighty Kong. Have you seen that movie? No. It's a rip-off of King Kong, only it's animated. Oh. You hate those rip-off movies, don't you? Yes, I do. What other movies are rip-offs? Tom and Jerry the movie. <laughs> Kangaroo Jack. No, 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 no. Seriously, folks. If I get to see a wall a marsupial, I call for Rocco. I call for Rocco. It's a cute little backpack. 
That's adorable. I wonder how much it is. The toys are priced as marked or like two ninety nine or three ninety nine. And I don't see a price on this, so I'm guessing it's two ninety nine or that's puzzles. This just says toys. And this says toys. So but how do they know by shelf? Because you don't know if someone switched it. This is really cute though. And I think that the girls would love it. I'm gonna put it in the cart as a possibility. The duck is cute. And Josie likes ducks, so we'll think about that. They have a, a lot of cute toys. An American tale. I feel like I don't usually find hardly any toys at any of the thrift stores anymore. In other words, All right, I'm going to go over here and look, Craig, okay? You check out the books. It's one of the more interesting things I've seen so far. These cute um, houses. I suppose you would put them on a shelf. And on the back of it, it says it's the Iowa State Memorial Union. So these are from the campus. Well, these are pretty cool. They are $1.49 each. Here's a mini waffle maker like mine. I'm anxious to see what this costs because I know you can buy them new for like $9.99. Well, it's the uh, small appliances are five forty nine. This does, in fact, upon investigation, this does, in fact, appear to be brand new, never used. So five forty nine would be a bargain. You have several little crock pots and coffee grinders. You need a coffee grinder five forty nine. It is a bright sunny day, but also windy, which you'll probably hear in the camera noise. We're going in to take the cans and put them in the machines, hopefully with no issues. I'm seeing all of these flowers out here and I'm definitely going to be looking at the flowers today because I learned last year to look before Mother's Day. Well, there's no one here, so hopefully they work. All clear. All right. All clear, you guys. You can come up now. Okay. Craig, why do you enjoy taking back the cans so much? Because it's fish. Because it's Florida what? Business. It's oh, Florida business. Yes, because we try and use the money to buy gift cards for Florida. And it, it does help out. We save our change and cash it in for gift cards, which one of these days we'll have to take some change back because Craig loves doing that too. I think, um, Maybe part of the reason he likes it so much is because he gets satisfaction out of doing the job. Time for the countdown. Finished. Now we'll go cash them in. Okay, well he always uses these wipes to clean his hands when he's done. Sometimes he goes to the bathroom and washes his hands too. Oh, it's time for 4th of July now. First things first, we're going to get our Disney gift card so we don't forget. We try to get at least probably two a month because I want to have enough to pay for our for our Disney passes. So if I keep buying them every month, then <laughs> by the time we go, I'll have enough money to buy our tickets. I 
I think Craig's happy. <laughs> Let's see, Craig. Let's pick up some salads. My, yeah, yep, that's your favorite. You like the bacon ranch crunch. We like Caesar. I like the, why am I not seeing it? Oh, well, I like this one. This one works. This is my favorite, the cherry gorgonzola. That's probably good, because if we get too many, we risk that it'll go bad before we get it ate. This one looks good too. I think we're going to get another Caesar. We all like Caesar. I can add some canned chicken and it makes a good meal. How about bananas, Craig? Do we need more bananas? Maybe we should just get a bunch. Alright. What I was looking for. I don't see the spicy ones that Joe likes, so these are definitely a must. I don't know if I've ever told you I like to spread some peanut butter on it and roll it up. It makes a wonderful snack, or you can have like three for a meal. Quick and easy. Let's see if Craig's gonna pick out some cereal today. Cheerios. He likes to pick out Cheerios. Yeah. Oats, Oats and, and honey, honey crunch. This keto cereal is on clearance for four fifty, dollars and there's only one gram of net carbs. I'm going to try these. That's awesome because I refuse to pay $10 for a box of cereal. So, but I'll try these. For some reason, the chocolate is $6. It was normally $8 also. I think we'll just do the peanut butter. Get some keto buns. It's going to be nice and you joke and grill some burgers. Craig is very happy today. He keeps skipping and jumping. It's got lots of energy for when we go do the treadmills. Some cute fake Crocs. My problem, okay. My problem with Crocs is they make my feet sweat so much in the summer. Did you ever watch Alf, Mama? I watched it a couple of times, but I quit watching it because Alf eats cats. What's wrong with this show? There's nothing wrong with it. Well, he eats cats. <laughs> I was what? against that. Did you? Oh. Do you like Alf? Yeah, I like Alf. Yeah, I mean, he is an alien, so I suppose that explains the cat eating. Yeah. A lot of people loved Alf. <laughs> Came out to take a look at the flowers, but they don't have too much out yet. <laughs> Trying to find the ones I got that I liked so much last year, but I think I'm too early. Lots of pansies. This is pretty. What is this? Hmm. I've never heard of it. It is pretty. The wind's kind of hard on these out here right now. We've had plenty of wind. Well, Craig, I guess I'm just too early. Too early, right? Yeah, maybe they start in May. I'm blocked. I gotta turn around. Stopping at Dollar General to see if they have the Peppa Pig surprise packs that Josie likes so much. And this is what I'm looking for. Josie loves these. So far, she has Daddy Pig and I think Mommy Pig. So we'll get a few more for her to try. These are cute mystery bows. We've done those too. I was recently watching a travel video and she said if you want no slip socks that are no shows, to get the ones that have like this hole. And these have it and it's at Dollar Tree. 
and it does have the I'm going to try a pair and see if it works and these are even cute with the little donuts the second pair is just white and I think we're trying these these look like fun magic crackles for the bath we'll try one of these for Libby and Josie back at one of Craig's favorite places the Indianola Wellness Center it's got a good rhythm going How you doing? Good. Feeling good? Yeah. Done for the day. Time to check the P.O. box. Coupons. Yep, more coupons. Number two. Okay. Gate number two. You know? Two things in there. Okay. Two things? Yeah. One. Two packages today. And now it's mail time. Come on. Well, I don't think it is. Let's see what I get. You know, we always share. Wow, packets of kittens. Hi, Craig. I want to thank you for your awesome channel. I look forward to it, and I really, and really enjoyed it. You have a wonderful family. Just wanted to express my feelings of gratitude. Keep on having a great day, from Jolie. Thanks, Jolie. Jolie is one of our faith. Jolie always comments on the videos. She's a faithful viewer. Oh. World's best salad maker. Oh, I love it. I have to try that on a little bit. I think that is actually for Stephanie. It's a present for the baby. Oh. There you go, Craig. And this one, this one says it's from Keisha. Sorry, my hair is messy from the wind. Oh, it's the Bernstein Bears. Wow. She knows how much you like the Bernstein Bears books, right? Yeah. These will be a good one. You can read some of these for story time. Right. It'll be narrated by John Lithgow. Oh, okay. I like it when John Lithgow narrates. I actually just saw Bernstein Bears book today when we are at Walmart and thought, well, that would be a good one for Craig. It might have been this one. Mm -hmm. Spring storybook favorites. What are the ones included? Can you read Mother's that? Day, Father's oh. Day, Easter, and Earth Day. And then down here? Lemonade this. Stand, Clean House, and Gone Fishing. Oh, those sound like so much fun. I can't wait till you read the Mother's Day one. Yeah. You want to stand up so everyone can see there you. Show. Go. I love it. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Keisha and Joey, for these wonderful gifts. Thank you so much. And I'll have Stephanie open that present when she gets here tonight. Okay. Okay, here's your presents. Okay, this is for Livy and this is for Josie. Yes, I was right. Yeah. Turn it around so we can see the front of it, Livy. I got the, the, the color I wanted. What is it? Do you know what that is? A flamingo. Yeah, a pink flamingo. And, and a duck. Yeah, you got a duck. I got that. No, actually, it's called. Um, a baby duck. It's called a baby duck, yeah. 
watching. Grandpa and Libby is focusing on this screen, unfortunately. Let's see if I move over here. But Grandpa and Libby are out there trying to get Pokemon. There, they got it. There we go. Quack, quack, quack. <laughs> quacking. Libby's watching Grandpa and Libby trying to catch Pokemon in the backyard. There are Pokemon behind our house. We see people driving by here really slow and stopping to catch Pokemon quite often. Now they're inspecting our bluebird house. We actually already have bluebirds in our birdhouses and Joe just put them up last week. We see them going in and out, taking little sticks and things in there. It's so much fun. And the bluebirds were on the bird bath the other day, so exciting. The cat's glad I opened the window. Bernie wishes he could sit in the window, don't you? They must be catching one. Hey, Craig. Hi, Mom. One of our viewers named Cody sent us an email, and he would like to know, do you like Bert and Ernie? Yeah, I know Bert and Ernie. They're hilarious. Bert was the uptight one, while Ernie was carefree. Can you do a little bit Bert and Ernie do? Ernie, what are you doing? I'm bringing this piano to the bathroom, Bert. Why is he bringing it to the show you? That was Bert and Ernie's sing-along. Oh, okay. <laughs> he also would like to know, who's your? what's your favorite character of all characters on all shows? Yogi Bear. Yogi Bear is your favorite? Yep. Let's hear your Yogi impression. I'm smarter than the average bear. And then he'd also like to know, what kind of books do you enjoy reading right now? Garfield. That's what you're reading a lot of now, Garfield? Yep. How many Pokemon did you find? Uh, that's like 17. 17, wow. That's probably pretty close, actually. No, I think... I read at least 12 we caught. That Shelby got. You probably caught 12. I caught a few just trying to show her how. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then she hated that. Well, I was I got... supposed to catch that Pokemon. <laughs> yeah, but... Well, Grandpa catches the Pokemon and I was going to catch. Oh. Now you're going to go Pokemon hunting all the time? You know, your mom, yeah. has a, your mom has a Pokemon account. This is what I made for dinner last night. And Craig's going to have the leftovers tonight. We were going to make a video of us making it, but the girls were here and it just didn't work out. But basically, I'll cut it open and let you see the inside. We opened up a chicken breast and stuffed it with cream cheese and everything bagel seasoning. And then we wrapped the whole chicken breast in bacon and cooked it in the oven, I don't know, probably 45 minutes to an hour because I wanted the bacon to get crispy. It was very good, but very filling. And Craig's going to have this and a side salad tonight. Can I play with it? Uh, I don't know what it is. Ready? should we open it? Yeah. Excuse all the Pokemon talk in the background. He <laughs> said Mickey Mouse outfit for brother. Oh, that's so, so cute. You want a bib? I don't even. You probably had pants. Pants. Little Mickey hat. I don't think I ever. We never, we never ever did it. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Joey. So cute. <laughs> I love the little Mickey Mouse of your hat. Who is that? No. Who is it? No. <laughs> Josie just woke up. <laughs> Say, I'm Jesse. <laughs> oh. Here 
Here we go. Underworld with Bob. Broadcasting live in three, two, one. Hey, who did this? Misunderstood Shark. Starring Shark. Written by Ann Dickman. Illustrated by Scott Magoon. Hello, people. Today on Underworld Water World with Bob. Fun facts about Shark. Shark. The people are watching. Don't eat that fish in front of the people. The people can see me. You're mis you misunderstood. I wasn't going to eat him. Hell, I was just showing him my first new tooth. Fun facts about that sharks can grow and lose 330,000 teeth in their lifetime. Can I pay now? 30,000? Sharks, too, very must be exhausted. Fine, shark. Maybe you weren't going to eat the fish. Shark? Where's shark? Oh, no. Shark! Not the baby seal! Don't eat the baby seal in front of the people! The people? You misunderstood. I wasn't going to eat him. I was just... Helping her find her, helping her find her family. Thanks, Mr. Shark. You're my favorite. You're my favorite too. Fun fact about that: a great white shark can eat twenty-two thousand pounds of food in a year, and seals are their favorite. What did the shark say after he met a seal? Burp. People may, I may have misunderstood shark. Shark. Why shark now? What is it, shark? What do you smell, shark? Tell us why. What do you smell, shark? I smell blood. Oh, fun fact about that: same sharks can smell a single drop of blood in a million drops of water. Forget the fact he smells blood. Get out of his way! No, shark! Don't eat the people and. For the people. Blood, 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 blood. I brought the bubble strap. Sean, run me along. Oh, no, wait. I was trying to, just trying to help. But the people misunderstood me too. The ocean gets its saltiness from the tears of misunderstood sharks. I read that somewhere. All dreamy little squid hearts are breaking. Gang. I was going to eat the people. I, was, I wasn't going to eat the people. I wasn't even going to bite at them a little. People, I know sharks can seem scary, but you are actually thousands of times more likely to be bitten by another person than bitten by a shark. That's a fact. People bite each other. Maybe they taste like chicken. And there you have it, folks. Sharks really are just misunderstood. I need a hug. Don't look at us. When it comes to hugs, squids stink. Because if you squeeze us, we ink. I suppose I could. Hug time. This is nice. This is nice. You smell good. Uh-oh, I can't watch. Boom. You ate me. I can't believe you really ate me. And front of the people. You misunderstood again. I didn't eat you. I'm just playing hide and seek with you. What? Why? Goodbye, people. Tune in next time for more fun facts and an inside view of our underwear world. When you talk, it tickles. That's a wrap. The end. And this is Craigie Vever saying, if you like this video, click like and subscribe. And keep on having a great day.